Counter move fancy MMA at countermove.com. Select a game, choose a team of five fighters, stack up points, and win. Let's do this shit! All right, everybody have a seat. Dana White could not be here tonight. He's filming an episode of Looking for a Fight on the Moon, and Dave Schaller is being pummeled by John Jones and Daniel Cormier. So the UFC asked me to run the presser. Now, before you ask me the stupid questions that you're going to ask me, because you're a stupid idiot, let me just say this. I created at least one job on this stage tonight, which is a lot more than I can say for probably anybody else in this room. So shut the fuck up about me ruining the sport. This isn't a publicity stunt. I fucking hate talking to people. I just want to punch that young man in the orange shirt in the face and be left in peace to write comic books and watch hockey. Yes, an o and fighter has no business in the UFC, but I happen to be a famous millionaire o and fighter, and the UFC is a fucking business that's trying to, oh, I don't know, make a profit. Luck is for losers, and life is not fair. Now, does anyone here have any questions for these fine young gentlemen sharing the stage with me tonight? This question is for Johnny Hendricks. A very tough loss out there tonight. The first time you've ever been stopped in your career. Where did things go wrong? Well, I would say things went wrong when he knocked me out, you know? That's probably, you know, if I had to pinpoint the point in the fight that was the deciding factor, it was the knockout, you know? But respect to Steven, you know? He fought an amazing fight, you know? I was at my best, you know? I had a great camp, you know? Great weight cut, you know? He was just a better fighter tonight, you know? He was doing all these crazy kicks and things, you know what I mean? He might be some sort of sorcerer, you know? I haven't looked at the tape yet, you know? But I think he used some sort of magic to turn into six shadow versions of himself, you know? But again, you know, he fought an amazing fight, you know? I gotta go back to the drawing board, you know? And be better than I've ever been, you know? And find out what I gotta, you know, do next time to, you know, beat him. Because I know, you know, that I'm gonna be seeing him again at some point, you know? I do know. I do know, Johnny. Thank you. This question is for Stephen Thompson. Wonder Boy, what is the secret of your power? And will you take me far away from the mucky muck now? Yeah, absolutely, man. Not much to say when you're high above the mucky muck, is there? Nope. Well, you look like a fucking ninja out there, and I can't wait for you to pass up Tyron Woodley for a title fight. Hey, what the fuck? I beat Kelvin Gastelum. You did, but that was like a year ago, and Thompson just beat fucking Johnny Hendricks with like, he did his crazy kicks and shit. I was supposed to fight Johnny in October... But he couldn't fight. That fucking sucks, man. Yeah, that fucking sucks. This is bullshit. This question is for the goddamn legend Mike Pyle. Mike, you're 40. You have a fucking mullet. And you just kicked the shit out of a 28-year-old. I don't have any questions. I just want to say that you're my fucking hero. Appreciate that, man. Thanks. Seriously, somebody needs to start a TV show where they just follow you around all the time. I want to watch your life because you're a fucking legend. All right, this question's for Mickey Gall. Mickey, you won the CM Punk lottery tonight, which includes an all-expenses-paid trip to Disneyland, a commemorative cup, two tickets to see Transformers on ice, and a fight with CM Punk. How are you feeling right now? I feel amazing. I can't wait to fight CM Punk. I think I'm going to be a big wake-up call for him. And I'm going to stop you right there, Mickey. There's no need to cut a promo on me. The fight doesn't need to be sold any more than CM Punk is stepping into a cage to fight someone. I'm not going to cut any promos on you, or your orange shirt. I'm sure you're a very nice young man, and I look forward to our contest. Save the promos for your next fight. This time, it's not going to do you any good. And to quote Walter White, if we're going to go that way, you're going to need a bigger knife. That's the presser, folks. Thanks for coming out.